Mike, many, many congratulations. We see the, the tears of joy there. Just sum up the emotions for us after what's been an incredible week for yourself. I don't really think I have to sum anything up. Um, I've been crying backstage. <laughs> there was a moment I wasn't going to cry just two minutes ago. Um, I'm over the moon. I got this trophy. I got a major title. I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words. All week you've been saying you can't win it. <laughs> However, you're there. You're, you're there with the trophy. But when did that moment? When did that moment turn? Was it at four one up or what? At five four up? When did you genuinely believe that you could go on? Uh, I never said I can't win it. I just said that I didn't want to think about it. Um, but at four one up, I was thinking, hmm, hmm, I'm kind of close now. And then Luke decided to go mental in finishes, <laughs> and he went back to until 4-4. Four, four. But um, at 4-4, four, four, I, I don't know why or what, but I relaxed, and I was just thinking, well, he's the, the reigning world champion, world match play, sum it up. Um, and, and, and I relaxed, and, and it helped, so yeah. When you hit the winning double, was the feeling all that you wanted and did it live up to expectations and was it as you dreamt it? It was unreal. Um, I didn't know what to do with myself. <laughs> but I'm, I'm so, so happy. I'm, I'm over the moon. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Mark, many congratulations. Thank you. Mike, how were you able to control the nerves when it went from 4-1 to 4 all? and sort of recompose yourself to win that game? I have no clue. Yeah. Absolutely no clue. I was just thinking, come on, just do the same as in the beginning of the game. And at um, some points it worked, some points it didn't. Um, but I did it, so way. <laughs> <laughs> was there any point when Humphreys was coming back at you and made it for where there was doubts whether you could still win that game? Not really, because um, I've been playing the best I ever did on stage this week. Um, I did again now in the first five, six sets, but Luke was phenomenal to bring it back until 4-4. So I was just thinking, well, just do the same as in the beginning of the game, and I did. Um, so yeah, n not really doubts, just nerves, but yeah, I always have nerves. So. <laughs> I think some players have talked about playing Luke, sort of an extra pressure playing somebody who's playing so well. Did you feel that at all today? No extra pressure or nerves. Um, he was the massive favourite in this game. So I kind of took that as, a, as an advantage because no one was really expecting me to win. <clears throat> but yeah, I did it. How do you think this changes things for you, being a world champion, having a PDC major? What now changes in your career and possibly your life? Well, I'm not a world champion. Um, oh, yeah. I'm a major champion. But I don't know. We'll see from here. Um, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing for the last 18 months. And hopefully there's many more of these coming my way. You're welcome. Mike, it's been an incredible journey for you. You lost your tour card a couple of years ago. How would you reflect on that journey? And could you ever have imagined you'd be sat here as a major champion? <laughs> no, because uh, five years ago, when I had to go back to Q school, um, after losing my card, I lost in the first round for four days straight. And I was thinking, that's it, I'm done. Like, I don't want to do this again. And yeah, look at me now, a major champion. I'm, I'm over the moon. You said you're off to Wigan tomorrow. How are you going to celebrate this all then? <laughs> probably sleep because I I didn't have much sleep for the last couple of days um, the adrenaline was still pumping until 2, 3 at night and then wake up at 6 so that's not really helpful um, so hopefully I'll, I'll have a good night rest this night Luke said you can go on to, to win a lot more and do a lot more in this sport what do you feel you could go on to achieve? I don't know um, <laughs> Uh, I, I didn't expect this before the week uh, before the week started, but well, I did it, and I'll just um, go into every major from now on um, with the same feeling, and, and we'll see from there.
Welcome. Mike, it's not just lifting the trophy. If you look at the route that you've taken, Anderson, Wade, Dimitri van der Berg, Hetter, and now Luke Humphreys, I mean, that's got to be one of the toughest routes to lift your first major. Does that just make it even more special? Yeah, it does. Um, maybe not the route or, or uh, the players I played against. One by one, they're all phenomenal players. Um, but just lifting my first trophy is, is, is massive. Um, I'll probably still be buzzing at four at night, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's an unbelievable feeling. The way that you've played this week, when we spoke to Dimitri, spoke to Luke, they're not surprised. They've been playing with you for over 10 years. What's it like to hear the respect from, from your fellow players who have been on that journey with you, giving you that, that credit like that? It's massive. Um, I've never really been a stage player, but yeah, I can't really say that anymore. <laughs> so, um, someone like Luke and Dimitri, uh, multiple major champions, saying that about me is, is, is brilliant. Mike, a huge congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Mike, congratulations again. Um, on, after your second win, you sat down in that chair and said that you hate the media side of, uh, <laughs> of this sport. You're now a televised ranking uh, champion. How are you going to prepare yourself for sports to come? I don't know. Um, probably the same as I did this week. Um, I'm getting used to it. Not that I like it, but I'm getting <laughs> used to it. So, yeah, I'll, I'll do the same. Yeah, um, obviously, with, with being a ranking, um, televised ranking champion, what comes, there's going to be rings for the Premier League. Do you think with a, a lot of darts still to play for this year, that could be on your horizon? I have no clue. Um, I'm happy with this and I'm not thinking about the Premier League whatsoever. Luke did say that, in his opinion, it could potentially be down to you or Dimitri as he didn't think that they'd give more than two spots to a Belgian mm -hmm. player. Would that, be, would that make it even more difficult if it does come down to it and it's between the two of you? Well... Um I don't, to be honest, I don't think I'm ready for the Premier League just yet. Um, it's 14 weeks against the top eight of the world every single week, and it's so hard. Um, I've seen it with Kim, I've seen it with Dimitri, I've seen it with Jelle, um, who is a good friend. I don't know. Um, if they, they put me in, I'll, I'll say yes, 100%. But if they don't put me in, then that's fine. Then, then maybe next year or the year after, I'm, I'm, it's not up to me. So. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much and congratulations again. Thank you.